you too, Miss William. Um, I was demonstrating a knife the other day, and someone made a comment that they didn't uh, they didn't care if their feathers was curls or if they were just feathers. Feathers worked fine for them, and and that's that's okay. I wanted to show the difference why I like curls sometimes, in addition to feathers. And in my mind, there's a difference between fine curls and feathers. Okay, so I, I've tried to get several things off the ground, but everything's saturated. So instead of having a baton and do all this other stuff and have a 20 minute video, I got some, just an old piece of yellow pine out of the shop that I've been using to, as a, a, a plate for grilling and stuff. So anyway, it's straight grain. When you do feathers, you want something that's straight grain, that's dry. And the wider the wood, white, as in color white, the wider the wood, the better it's going to do as far as feathers. So, and also we want to make sure that it's soft, straight grained, all the above. Okay, so let me show you why I like a knife that's going to give me some very fine curls. Okay, so let me reposition the camera and we'll get started. Okay, typically what you're trying to do is you want some feathers to begin with. And to me, those are feathers. They're long, don't have as much of a curl to them. A little bit thicker. And if you want to just take a flame to that, then it will check, it will catch a, a, a flame very easily. Okay? But let's say that I wanted to blow a coal into flame or I wanted to use a ferro rod and I didn't want to use tinder or anything else. I just wanted to use what I had available and that's my wood, okay? So what I would do is I would try to make, and you want to save all these that come off because they can be used as well. So what I want to do is I want to make very fine curls. If I can do this. That I'm breaking off. I want them thinner than paper or as thin as possible. And if they break off, that's fine. We'll we'll pile them on top of there in a minute. Okay, just like that. See the difference between the curls? See how they curled up? They're thinner, so they curl up. And these are thicker, so they curl at the ends, but they're thicker on the ends, okay? So you can see the difference. <clears throat> now this will catch a, a spark very easily from a ferro rod. And let me show you here right quick, hopefully. Hopefully I can get this to work. Now, you've seen people scrape fine fluff to, and I've done it also, fine fluff to, to get the, the spark to, to catch. And you can do that as well, but I find if you do fine curls like this, that it works just as well in my experience. Get some of that stuff scraped in there. And try to get the spark to land just right. There, and then it catches those longer ones, those thicker ones on fire, and you have a little bit more of a sustainable fire.
Well, there you have it. Um, that's the reason I like different uh, thicknesses of feathers. I like the curls in addition to the feathers. I think there's a difference. Um, but you can also take those fine curls and um, blow a coal into flame as well. And so it's just easier to, uh, to to bring in to get a flame. And if you mix that like I did with the, the feathers with the, the curls, the fine curls, then you have something that's that's a little bit more sustained fire when you have marginal tinder or when you have marginal um, kindling. Okay, so just another thing to put in your little kit and then go out and practice these different feathers and see what works for you. Now you can use a spinning or knife and scrape some fluff and get the fluff to ignite, then do your feathers. You could do it that way if you want to. I just I don't know, I just like the fine curls myself, but hey, whatever works. Until the next one, you guys get out and practice these skills. Um, and uh, if you do, take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon.